So you're either watching this video because you're a current user of clerk billing and you've been anxiously waiting for free trials or you haven't tried clerk billing at all because free trials weren't possible. And if it's the latter, I don't blame you. Free trials are a big deal. It's pretty much common knowledge up to this point that allowing your user to try your product before buying will help conversion rates. That is if it's implemented well. It's a much bigger lift than you think, especially when you come at it from a design and engineering point of view. So clerk billing was made to basically remove all of the headaches surrounding implementing subscriptions for B2C and B2B apps. And free trials are just the next part of that journey. So let's go take a look at how you can be up and running in clerk billing and free trials in just a few minutes. Okay, so I have a little Next.js app scaffolded up here. Uh, you're just looking at the landing page right here, but you'll see that we have all the normal clerk goodies here. We have a sign in page, we have our sign up page, and if you scroll down, we have the pricing table component implemented here. It only has one tier in it, but the important takeaway here is we have clerk billing enabled in our app. So heading back over to the dashboard, you'll see that billing has been enabled. And so we've added our pricing table component. Now it's basically time to start setting up our subscription plans. And so to do that, let's navigate to subscription plans here and hit create plan. So in this plan, we wanna make sure it actually is a paid plan and not a free plan because we want to be able to add a free trial to it. So let's go in here and let's call it the starter plan. We can give it a temporary description. This is a starter plan to get you acquainted with the features of this awesome. Okay, and then down here, we'll just give it a, uh, I don't know, let's do $29 a month. Okay, so now that we have this subscription plan created, let's pause for just a second and see how it looks on our landing page. So we'll hit save right here. And once that's saved, and there you go. You can see on our landing page it is now showing up. Um, we have our starter plan for $29 a month and you'll see there's no free trial here. So in this fictitious little app, let's just say one of our main priorities right now is to boost our conversion rates. So we've decided that implementing a free trial will help us get there. And one of the reasons we're using clerk billing to do this is because A, free trials is as easy as uh, flipping a switch and B, all of the great user experience is baked in and in theory should help our conversion rate even more. So let's head back into the dashboard and get this set up. Okay, so I'm back in the dashboard and all we have to do at this point to enable a free trial on this plan is toggle it on and enter a number of days we'd like to make the free trial. So let's just say a 14 day free trial, hit save here. And once it's saved, we can go back to our landing page and you'll see Instantly, we have a free trial button and users can sign up, try it for 14 days and hopefully convert. So now if we wanted to, we could keep creating subscription plans to keep filling out that pricing table. And the great thing about free trials in Clerk is you can enable them on a per plan basis. So if you wanted to exclude them from one plan, that's totally possible. If you wanted to change the number of days in one plan from the other, also possible. So one of the Greatest things about using clerk billing and free trials within clerk billing is all of that amazing UX is built in. So going back to our app, let's click on our user account. Let's manage our account. And you'll see if I go to billing that I can go in here and I can switch plans and I can start it. If I'm on the free plan, I can start a 14 day free trial and try out some of the features in our starter plan. So if I click that, I'm presented with a popover where I can put my credit card details in and start my free trial. I'm just gonna pay with a test card for now, and there you go, trial successfully started. So now when you go back to the billing page, you'll see that the starter plan is active and it tells me when the trial ends. And if I wanted to, I can move back off the starter plan before the trial ends, go back to the free plan, and my card won't be charged. And the good UX doesn't really end there either. Any user that signs up to a free trial will get an email three days before their card is charged. So I've always thought this was a really good touch. It just helps build some trust um, and just, I think, makes the customer feel good. So if you're after best in class UX for your customers and even better DX for your developers, I suggest you go check out free trials in clerk billing today.